Now we are going to talk about the shortest path. So I've just imported a 3D model from this website. It got a lot of sculptures, 3D scan model. It's really high quality. Scale it down a little bit. First, take a look at this wireframe. It got a lot of detail, which is good because path is demonstrated by your wireframe. It will not go through the face. It will only go on the edge. So detail is good, but uh, we can make it less detail, faster process. Use this modifier and just make it less detail. And now we create a plan that's for our geometry node. I call it path. We want to use this to create the shortest path. So let's create a geometry node, a new. We will not need this. That is like an empty geometry node. Let's take a look what we are going to do. So for the shortest path, you just type path. So you will see these three. Let's take all out. So that's the three node for the shortest path. First, we will see that is the main one drawing out the shortest path and we will see this one pretty similar to this they do the same thing just the one is for the selection one is for drawing out the actual curve don't worry about this first let's worry about these two so these two they work together you will see there is like a start vertex and the end vertex. So we will want to give a start vertex and the end vertex so we can draw a line or a path. They work together. Right away, we can just plug this to the next vertex because they are, have the same name. So we just have to plug this in. So you see this end vertex. So we just try to type a vertex. So we use this edge vertex and use a uh, vector math and set this to be distance and plug this to in and plug this to the cost so what this do is it calculate all the edge every edge is demonstrated by two vertex so which you have this vertex one and vertex two and position one and position two so you will take out the position of two point and you use this get the distance so we will feed that to the edge cost that is the usual setup for this so now drag this into our geometry node and set this to be relative and we use this for the mesh i'll put that so now if we hide our original sculpture you will see nothing that's because we have not give out the start vertex and the end vertex so we can give a random value to try we set this to be boolean and to see if any result so now we have some random edge that being drawn out that's because some of the start point or the end point and they will connect them as the shortest path so now we know it's working so that's do something that is easier to understand so that's set some of the point to be the start point i want to buy this because i want to go to the atom mode so after i apply that i go to atom mode and i select some of the point this point to be the start point so i give a vertex group to be sp for start point and i assign that okay so select so it's been select another one over here okay so i make it to be end point sign that is the end point that is the start point so let's go to the geometry node on this path so we can use this named attribute to pull out the group from this geometry which is this so if we see here we can see there's these two attribute from here so set this to be boolean and we can plug this use the start point and use this to the end point if we hide this we can see we actually drawing a path use curve to mesh a circle you draw it out so we can see it So now we can see we actually drawing our path and let's try something plug this random boolean to the start point we got something that looks pretty cool 
you have to set this possibility to be really low because if it's really high it will draw too much and it will crash your computer so just be careful about this let's take a look if we go there to the end point will that do the same it will not do the same it will be a little bit different so let's discuss what is the difference between we plug this to the start point or the end point so now if i plug it back to be like this so we use this random point to be the start point so which is like a, everywhere that you see this kind of it seems to be the end but actually it's the start point every point it will go to the same end over here so everywhere you see this the edge is the start point from here to over way to there we have a lot of start point and if we plug this to the end point start point like this it means we have a lot of end point but we only have one start point the start point it should be here and you will find only one shortest point when you find it it just stops so the start point means it definitely will be draw out and from there it will find the end point and the end point kind of like the your goal but the, when you meet the closer end point the start point will just stop drawing so now we know this we can very quickly have this cool result but uh if you see it like a uh, closer if you see here it means it's kind of like a uh, overlap together here it's only one and when you meet here this stop point and this stop point you meet over here and they overlap together and we keep drawing when it goes to here it meet all the things from here and this it means like it's more branch and they all meet together so you have a lot of unnecessary vertex in this case we will need to merge them together so that's just use search by distance per merge by distance it don't work with the curve the output is curved so we have to invert that to be mesh so curve to mesh now it's been merged but and now we have to invert that to be curve again so now we will not have that unnecessary overlap then if we want to we can use uh, trim curve trim curve it work with curve so it have to be before the curve to mesh so if we put it here and try to drag this uh, it's not what we want it will trim from the connect point which is everywhere you have branch it's not ideal we will have to put it in the beginning and let's try to do that so now it's like growing out so you can have some very cool animation for this but uh it's not perfect because if you see the wireframe you can tell it's not quite perfect yet so this it needs a lot of customization for make it to be perfect so actually i'm still developing that now it's just like the most simple idea so let's try to make one more endpoint to see what will be different maybe we put one more endpoint and one more here so now we have three endpoints so all the points that are being selected from here being joined to these three endpoints so let's see if we use this start point because we only have one start point over here and the closest endpoint is over here so it's only draw to there so let's see if we make a closer endpoint let's see if that will be connected to here so assign yes so that is the shortest than this and this and this so you go there so let's make one more start point so if we make it to here i believe here will be one more line so let's see right because i know here is an end point and this path will be close it will not connect to here because here's more closer so we can try to have one more i believe it will be drawn to here somewhere here 
yes. So that is basic demonstration of the start point and the end point. Let's try to give us some material. Yes, so that is the basic demonstration, shortest path, because this is a like very powerful new note for the 3.3. So I might discover more things about this. This is just a quick idea for you to understand. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.